The Seeing Eye of Morristown, New Jersey is the oldest existing guide dog school in the world. They breed their own dogs which spend the first 18 months of their lives in the homes of puppy raisers. The dogs are then brought back to the Seeing Eye where they are evaluated by the training staff. Only the very best make it through the training needed to become working Seeing Eye dogs. The dogs that are not selected to move on in their training are put up for adoption along with older dogs who are retiring from service. The puppy raisers, of course, get first dibs. But if there are dogs that are still available, Carol Hoffman's job is to ensure that they are placed properly in a loving home. The process begins with Carol spending some time with the dog to be adopted. She evaluates the dog first in her office and then will take them out for a walk on the seeing eye grounds. We go for a walk so I can see how strong their pull is mostly because we have a lot of people who are not young anymore and they would not be able to hold on to some of the dogs at the pace that they can walk at. So I try to evaluate that in, in addition to the idea of finding the right people on the list. The list Carol is talking about is a database of people interested in adopting dogs from the seeing eye. These dogs are by all accounts top shelf animals and people know it. Even extremely qualified candidates can wait years before getting a call from Carol that there's a dog possibly available for them. Once Carol believes she has a match for the dog she has just evaluated, she invites the prospective owner in for an interview. During the interview, Carol makes sure that the information that she has is up to date and that the person understands what it means to provide a proper home for the dog. She will then introduce the dog to the person and review some of the commands the dog has learned from the puppy raisers. The interview also gives the prospective owner the chance to evaluate whether the dog is appropriate for them and to ask Carol any questions they might have. Picture after picture show where the dogs Carol has placed have ended up. Some are now working dogs while others are loving family pets. It seems all have found good homes. Uh, the best part about my job is to be able to, to face the puppy raisers and say, I found a great home for your dog. So that's, mo that's the most rewarding part, that I know in my heart that it's a good home. And uh, as of yesterday, I gave away 1,011 dogs so far in the adoption program. Uh, Carol was nominated for the Animal Welfare Award because of her devotion to finding adoptive homes for seeing eye dogs that are no longer in the program. Carol has painstakingly uh, worked to achieve the best match, which is something we always care about. The magic is in the match at the seeing eye, and we believe that that's true for the uh, dog who's going to be working as a guide, as well as a dog who goes out and just adds value to a family. In her role as a matchmaker, Carol Hoffman makes a unique contribution to our celebration of the human-animal bond. <laughs>